Hello. Today we will do quite strong practice uh, to build your inner fire, but also to build your digestive fire. And this is what we need not only to lose some weight or have a better quality of our digestive system, but also to build this willpower to continue to do the good things for our health, for our body and for our life. This is the place where the energy, motivation and discipline is built. And this is also the place where we can lose a little bit our doubts, fear, anxiety and have more trust in ourselves. So to start with, basic standing pose as we already know. Inhale, raise your arms up. Take a few breaths here. And then catch your left um, um, wrist with your right hand. Inhale, exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, go to the back, change. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, go to the back, bring your arms down and cross your fingers behind your back, shoulders back, shoulder blades together, stretch. If this is too hard, keep your elbows bended and concentrate on opening your chest. Breathe. Relax, bend a little bit your knees and bring your arms in front of you in the hug the tree pose. So your shoulder blades stretch and the neck is completely relaxed. Breathe here. Inhale, come out of the pose. Inhale, bring the arms up, your hips back. And start to bend the knees and sit like if you want to sit on the chair. Spine is straight, back is straight. Now check that you see the point of your toes and stay here. Build this fire in your belly. Use your abdomen and breathe. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, relax in front of you completely. You can bend a little bit your knees if it is too hard for your hamstring. And one more time, bend your knees. Your weight is a little bit more on your heels. Straighten the spine, bring the arms up or just in front of you, depend on your ability and breathe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax. On the exhale, bring your belly a little bit in. Bend slightly your knees and roll vertebra by vertebra up. Inhale. Now you can stay like this on the mat. I will go in front of you and we will do the barrier one pose. And it's a little bit tricky pose because how it comes. Bring your right foot, right foot in front of you and the left foot more back, open a little bit to 30 degree. Now watch my hips, I have good outfit for this. Usually what uh, the people do here, it's open your hips like this. No, your hips are square. So you can even make your stance a little bit large to make sure that you square your hips. Your pelvis, your hips are in front. Now, inhale, raise your arms and bend the right knee in front of you. The knee is heading to the mat, not to the side. 
You are not doing this. Yeah, here. Yeah. Stretch. And again, the concentration, your focus is here. Breathe. Inhale, straighten, and change the legs. So now, it's the left leg in front, right is back, open, but square your hips, straighten your spine, bring down uh, the arms up, bend your left knee, and breathe. Concentrate on this. Inhale, arms down, step back. Now, barrier two. So, spread first your legs, like at the distance more or less of your wrist if you open the arms, and turn your right foot towards the wall, and left foot 10 degree in. Your base is very stable. Now, I hope you can see it. <laughs> Your spine is straight perpendicular to the soul, to the floor. Spread your arms, watch the top of your middle finger and do nothing else than bend your right knee. And watch, my feet are strongly in the uh, mat and my middle line, my spine, did not move. I did not do this. I stay here, I'm aligned, I'm in my center, and it's the same thing like in your life. When your base is stable, you are aligned with your um, values, you can hold. Now inhale, straighten the knee, arms down, right foot in, left foot open to the opposite wall, 10 degree the right foot behind, open your arms, focus on the top of your left middle finger and just bend the knees, keep your middle line here, perpendicular to the soul, breathe, shoulders down, again, Inhale, knee up, and jump in the middle. Now, we will do the variant three, and again, I will do it in front of you. For you, it's better if you are long of the mat. So, bring your right foot in front, and left leg is without weight. Square your hips, it's very important here. Inhale, raise your arms up, and now start to bend on your right foot in front till your body is parallel to the floor. The hips are square. What many people do here, they open this left hip up. So bring it back. You can put your hands on your hip if you want. They are on the same like stay here as long as you can few breaths and the same way you come down come up there is some heat building up right so you can use the chair or the wall if you wish i will show you so you can put the hands on the wall now the weight is on the left foot, right foot is back, inhale and with exhale slowly go with the body parallel to the floor. The hips are square and the foot back is flat, like if you want to push the wall behind you. Inhale and Come out slowly from the pose. Perfect. Now, sit down, bend your knees and sit in this space like in between your coccyx and sacrum. 
find the balance, lift a little bit your feet, and if you can, lift them up, and use your arms. If it is not challenging enough, straighten your legs, and stay here, two, three, four, five, belly work, muscles of the back wall, and your quadriceps work. Eight, bend your knees, go down, and here. You can just lie down on your back, bring the knees towards your chest, roll down, make any stretch that you like, and do your 10 minutes of deep relaxation. I don't know, so I'll save some space on YouTube and also of your time, but you know already uh, how to do Shavasana and the guided relaxation. You relax one part of the body after another one. Have a nice evening or a nice day and build this inner fire. You 